Hey everybody, Dr. Tom Carr here of drstocks.com, D-R-S-T-O-X-X.com and drstockstrading.com, D-R-S-T-O-X-X trading.com where you will find our two most profitable newsletters, the Hot Stocks Letter and the Penny Stocks Letter. Both of those are filling up fast. I capped those at 200 subscribers each and as of today we're down into the teens on both of those. So anyway, um, sign up now if you want to join us otherwise you you might uh, find that new subscriptions are cut off uh, also ichthusletter.com i-x-t-h-y-s letter.com if you're a long-term investor looking for one solid long-term investment idea per month okay another great day to be a drstocks.com subscriber look at this fourteen hundred and thirty three dollars uh, net profit today in our trading account and again, this is my short-term trading account. I cap it at $200,000. When we get up to that level, we take a good chunk of that off the table and put it into our long-term investment account, which is our legacy portfolio, the family fund, that will be passed on to my children and my children's children, if they have any. <laughs> and uh, But this is our trading account where we do our short-term swing trades and trend trades um, and medium term position type trades. I also have a day trading account that I fiddle around with. I don't do a whole lot with that on a day to day basis. But anyway, this is our primary driver for, um, you know, trading profits and another great day. Fourteen hundred and thirty dollars today. It's been a great week. It was it's been a great month. It's been a great year. Man, we've had a lot of nice returns today. Now, let's see what moved for us today. I'm going to highlight for you a chart of here in just a minute. I mentioned this the last few videos. I've been in this for a few days now. Um, had our subscribers in it all the way back to 3.95 a share just a few months ago, and it we we uh, hit our profit target in the cheap stocks letter at around 7.50 a share, and then I switched it over to our trend trade letter got those guys in at around eight dollars a share and we wrote it up to 12 and then it appeared in our hot stocks letter from 12 to, to 18 or so so we've had three letter trades on one stock and they've all been great um, I've been in the trade myself off and on I just jumped back in a couple days ago at seventeen dollars and thirty cents a share today it closed at eighteen twenty four so not a bad uh, two-day gain and it's uh, trading up a bit in after hours as well which is always nice to see I'm going to talk about this new position I put on today PATK that was the only full trade I made today other than adding a few shares to my um, ICTHUS letter portfolio of stocks now I, I have bigger positions in these that I don't ever sell from uh, I only add to but these are the positions that I swing trade in and out of and I'm holding small positions in all of them. Uh, boy, Tesla had a really nice day today. 9.3% up 27 handles today, all the way up to 318, breaking out of its near-term trading range. It's looking great. Um, love this stock. We've been in it for months and months and months, all the way back to 170 a share. And uh, what else did well today? HSC is one we've had our subscribers in for months and months and months. We're up to around 600% total net gain on a two-year hold in this very, very good company. And I uh, love this stock. I still think it's got lots of upside room. HSC is the ticker symbol. Cyber had a good uh, trading day today. That's an Israeli cybersecurity company. All kinds of good stuff coming out. It's hitting new all-time highs nearly every day now, and it's just great to see. Big 7.5% gain in FND, which is a retail IPO. Um, great stock to buy and hold. I've got all kinds of great stuff down here, but the real exciting stuff is going on in my short-term momentum trades, and I've got had some really nice movers today. We had a big 9% uh, gain in ENT, which is that um, entertainment uh, company that puts videos into the backs of airplane seats. We've talked about that a couple of times now. SSKN, one of our newsletter trades, a cheap stocks letter. We're, we've been in that since 150. And now it's 213 today. Really nice move. Otherwise, a lot of the stocks that were up way big yesterday were down today. And that's 
you know ASYS down today four and a half percent not a nice move but that's that's just par for the course let's look at some charts and uh, we've got some really cool stuff to look at today all kinds of great looking charts that are setting up this is one I have my momentum letter subscribers in EVHC it is consolidating after a breakout of a nice big cup and handle it's consolidating here it's been in this consolidation mode for two weeks and this nice little what I call a Darvis box named after Darvis himself between 4250 and about 4450 that's the range I think we're gonna break out in the next couple of days because on balance volume hit a, a new high just a few days ago inside of this box that's bullish stuff now here's here it closed at 1780 today it's now trading at 1824 and after hours it had a nice uh, volume um, on balance volume as you would expect is up very high and this is the range between 15 and 8 uh, 19 and it should be breaking out of that in the next couple of days and my near-term target on this is 23 so we'll get there I, I know we'll get there it's such an amazing stock um, here's another nice little box for Reggie, which is an oil and gas play. Oil and gas itself, the price of oil has been pulling back, keeping the this little box here in check. But it's trading up near 18, which is the top of that range. We've got on balance volume very high. That's going to be breaking out soon. GPRK is when I have my trend trade letters subscribers in. We bought it on this pullback. It's now trading up to the upper edge of this range, uh, this little triangular range, and that around 17 is going to be breaking out very soon. In fact, you could even say it did break out today if we pull this, pull our triangle back just a wee bit to there. Now we're right at the edge. So we'll get there soon enough. ENT, as I said, had that nice big uh, bullish engulfing day. SSKN has been producing all kinds of great gains for our subscribers. Look at this huge volume going on here and this is just really good stuff on balance volume of course is ticking up to new highs I'm getting emails from my subscribers about this stock because we, we put them in way back here right right around 1 148 149 a share and it is up a good what is that uh, 50 cents on a dollar 33 percent so far more than that now 40 percent and I'm getting all kinds of nice emails saying, you know, from subscribers saying we're paying off our credit cards, we're paying off our student loans, we're buying a new car, all kinds of fun stuff. That's that's what makes this job fun for me. Now, this is the stock I wanted to focus on today, brand new one that I discovered, and I'll show you how I discovered it in just a minute. PATK, Patrick Indu Industries, they they make wood products. Um, you know, if you if you buy an expensive car, a nice luxury car, you'll see nice wood grain dash. They make that kind of stuff. They also do specialty paints. They have um, composite granite that goes into uh, home fixtures, all kinds of odds and ends, doing really well. You'll see their financials in just a moment. But what I like about this is that here we have this sort of, this kind of uh, inverted head and shoulders pattern here. It's not the most uh, conforming pattern to that um, schema, but it is close enough. It's also within a large, what we might call a consolidation range or a big uh, bull flag, or I don't know what you want to call it. But anyway, it's, it has been trending down, but it is ready to pop higher because um, we are not yet at a new price high. The new price high would be up here around uh, $64 a share. We're not there yet, but OBV is. OBV is breaking out to the upside. <coughs> Excuse me which is a very good sign that this stock will follow suit because you're seeing accumulation of shares within a consolidation period which generally precedes the breakout. So I bought shares today um, at around uh, $62 per share and I'm going to be holding until it gets up and over $70 per share in the next uh, few days or weeks. Let me show you how I found this stock because I, I built a screen let me go to my screener here in Finviz that I use quite often to find uh, newsletter trades. And I just call this my undervalued Charles. screen. Nothing too fancy about it. Um, we're looking for stocks that are priced over $10 per share. And I generally put this up to 20 based on Charles. how... Get away. Okay. Based on uh, how well the market is performing. 
average volume over 200,000 per share. Uh, we want to see EPS growth this year positive. We want to see the last quarter, a big quarter, over 30 uh, percent year on a uh, quarter on quarter growth. We want to see over 30 percent sales growth quarter on quarter. And we want a low price to sales ratio, which gives us our nice, healthy valuation metric. Um, sometimes I will throw on as well a uh, equity that is positive, and that gets me down to seven. And PATK was one that I liked the best of those. Um, and you can see that it's got some nice growth numbers. 30% EPS growth this year, 30% sales over the last five years, 59% sales quarter on quarter, 60% earnings quarter on quarter, has a nice low sales to ratio, um, low PE ratio, low forward PE ratio, tons of free cash flow. The 14.5 is a low free cash flow number. It's got a lot of um, debt, so this is probably not a real good long-term hold, but I do like it over the next few weeks to get back up and over the 70 level. So anyway, that's uh, my tip for the day, my pro tip for the day. God bless everybody. We will see you tomorrow. Bye now.